Hey you guys, uh, I'm here just to uh, show a quick demonstration of the um, Adreno examples that uh, come pre-installed with the software uh, that they use. So um, this is just an example of the analog input section um, and this can be found under the examples and then go to analog number three and then it's going to be your analog input, the second one down. Um, and as in the instructions, it just says uh, you need a potentiometer, uh, an LED, and that's about it. So the potentiometer is hooked up to the analog input, and uh, the LED is going to be connected to the uh, digital output uh, number 13 and the ground section. Um, so as you can see here, this is my uh, Arduino Uno board uh, that I have. And it's just a simple potentiometer hooked up. As you can see, the one I'm using is a 1K. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, but just a 1K potentiometer. As you can see, the black wire, the middle wire, is hooked up to the analog section. Uh, analog zero input. Um, and then the two outer wires, both the white and the yellow, are hooked up to the 5 volt and the ground on the power section of the board. It'll focus there. Um, and as far as the white and the yellow are concerned, uh, they, it, it, it doesn't matter as far as which one you hook to the 5 volt and which one you hook to the ground. As long as the two outers of the potentiometer uh, are hooked to the 5 volt and the ground, you'll be good. And then the black is connected to the analog. Um, on the right side of the digital side um, just two wires connected to the ground and output number 13 um, the Arduino Uno has a pre-installed LED built onto the board um, so if you want to go through the example and do that without using an external one you can I happen to have a couple laying around so I figured I'd use it um, over here the jumper wires coming off of ground and number 13 um, just come over to a um, 100 ohm resistor with a blue LED um, that um, I'm basically rating. It, it, it calls for a 20 milliamp rating, but um, I'm going to power about 10 milliamps through it. And um, according to my meter, it has about 13, which is fine. Um, you know, you'll see some people on, on YouTube um, connecting a LED directly into the um, ground and port 13. Uh, and that's not actually not a very good thing to do because the Adreno board itself does not have a current limiting resistor uh, for anything that's external. It obviously does for the surface mount um, LED that it has. Um, but any any external resistor that you decide to plug into it uh, is not going to have a current limiting resistor. And I believe the maximum current on these boards is 20 milliamps, um, which is usually about what the rating for LEDs are too. So you don't want to... Um, go over the maximum current rating for either the Adreno board or for the LED. Um, so if you're using external LEDs, always make sure you use a current limiting resistor. Um, so basically how this works is the potentiometer, the Adreno is going to take the analog input signal from the potentiometer, convert that into a digital signal um, using pulse wave modulation, and then basically set a flash rate or pulse rate uh, for the LED here. So I'm just going to connect this ground wire to the negative side of it. And you can see the LED is flashing and eh, not very fast. So here's the potentiometer. If you turn it all the way clockwise, which it's clockwise now, uh, it's flashing maybe once per second on and off. And then you can also see that the LED it's built in onto the board is also flashing at the same rate that the external LED is going to be. <clears throat> so as you take your potentiometer and you turn it counterclockwise, you'll see the flash rate increase for the LED. And uh, if you notice this top here, you'll see how slow I'm turning it. Um, and I believe it's more on a logarithmic scale rather than a linear scale because once it gets high enough, the flash rate starts to increase pretty dang fast. So keep slowly turning it counterclockwise. You'll see the LED flash rate increase. You can 
Continue going. Keep going. So now we're getting pretty dang fast. Real slow turns. And there it's going pretty fast. Eventually it's gonna to, get, to get to the point where my camera's not gonna be able to pick up on the flash rate. And it'll just look like a solid light. So there's going pretty fast. Now right about there, on video it looks like, um, I guess you can see a little bit of pulsing, but um, to the naked eye you can, you can definitely tell that it's still turning off and on very fast. Now if I keep turning the potential, right about there is where it maxes out, turn it back a little bit, and right about there is about the peak uh, flash rate that you're going to get with the LED, as you can see the one on here. Just about max out. Almost looks like it's completely on, um, although it's not. It still has a flash rate to it. Uh, and then when you turn the potentiometer back down clockwise, you will see the flash rate start to decrease back to about one flash off and on per second. So there that is. Like I said, just a quick demonstration of uh, the analog input example that the Adreno software has loaded with it. So. Uh, hopefully I'll make some more as I continue going through the examples and uh, maybe I'll pour some more in the future. Thanks for watching.